You know that sign on the highway where you can either turn off for Palm Springs or keep going to other desert cities? I am always so tempted to just keep on driving, you know? This is how you win at tennis. You agitate me. You just get me really just impossibly overheated. I have no idea what you're talking about. If you have a lousy serve, you have a lousy serve, darling. And if all it takes to win is for me to tell you I think this war is entirely justified, well then, you shouldn't be playing tennis. Oh, this not drinking is gonna kill me. Hey, remember that great Tony Fields joke? I've been on a diet for 14 days and all I've lost is two weeks. That's how I feel about not drinking. Look, despite your abhorrent and repugnant lefty politics, we want you to know we're damn proud of you. Listen. All anybody wants is for you to just be like, you know, productive and happy and living in the world again. And they're sophisticated people. If you see some stuff differently from them, well, everybody's a grown up here. We all know how to live with that, right? Trip, have you actually ever met our parents? And something's up. What? I don't know. Don't ask me. Jeez, I'm not like the family goddamn spy. Is it her book? Did you read it? Is there something you could tell me? I'd really just like some advice. I haven't even looked at it yet. Stop interrogating me, I'm not 16. God, she is a grown up person. Stop studying her like she's a specimen out of some lab. She's hardly a grown up, darling. She's secretive, she's naive, she's very, very private. Lots of locked doors in that little dollhouse. Do you understand what you're saying? The implication is, because I held the traditions, American tradition should be protected against a generation of hooligans, my own son included, who had resorted to total chaos, whose lives were mired in drugs and sex and nihilism, and were gonna destroy this country that I broke my son. It wasn't politics, he was protesting, it was, it was us. It was life.